What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and it is finally time to talk about the must have accessories if you own a PlayStation 5. So we've got five awesome things over here and a couple of extra options. But, but can we ignore this thing, this gigantic television here? No, we cannot. So huge thanks to Vizio for sponsoring today's video and sending over this behemoth. This is from their P-Series Quantum X line. This is the P85QX. Now, absolutely insane TV, 85 inches, uh, but this is gonna be a great TV. Now, listen, don't get me wrong, gigantic TV for here, but you don't need to get an 85 inch TV for your PlayStation 5, don't get me wrong. Vizio has different size options for the P-Series, so if you want something smaller like a 65 inch, 75, those exist, but their 85 inch is absolutely gorgeous. So this is like movie theater level kind of stuff, and the image quality, ah, oh, awesome. But why is this a good TV for like the PlayStation 5, right? Well, these are equipped with 4K, and support 120 hertz. Now I will say we are still waiting on an update for the TVs like a lot of other manufacturers so that it can get the 4K at 120 hertz working. Now this TV is crazy because it can reach a peak of 3000 nits of brightness and you'll also get really deep blacks. Let's take a look at this game over here. Sackboy, oh my God. This is a super colorful game. And look how vibrant this looks. So yes, this thing is bright, colorful, vibrant, has 792 local dimming zones. I don't wanna to get too technical because that's not what we do over here. Even outside of being great for the PlayStation 5, it also has AirPlay 2 as well as a built-in Chromecast. So if you wanna send something from your phone, whether it's iPhone or Android, you're gonna be able to send videos to the TV with no problem. Now this is Vizio's top of the line stuff. And it's actually pretty affordable compared to its competitors in this category. But what's nice is even if you don't go for the P-Series Quantum X, they have other TV lines that also support 4K and 120 Hertz refresh rate. So if you don't wanna spend a lot of money, but you still wanna take advantage of all of the features that the PlayStation 5 has, Vizio actually has a ton of different options now. And really quick, I gotta mention that they sent over their Vizio Elevate 5.1.4 home theater soundbar with Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. And this thing is just kind of mind blowing. Check this out, guys. And this is a 5.1.4 sound system with Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. So when you actually power it on, well, I'll turn it off first, but check this out. When you turn off the sound bar, you can see these parts automatically rotate. And when you turn it back on, and this happens because the sound bar can automatically detect if you've got content on the screen that can take advantage of Dolby Atmos. So when there's Dolby Atmos or DTSX content on the screen, whether it's a movie, game, or show, the speakers will rotate upwards automatically. And it also comes with two other speakers so that you can have it in the back. And those are also Dolby Atmos speakers. They have upward firing speakers so that you can get a nice full 5.1.4 sound. And this is one of the cleanest sounding sound bars I've ever heard. I gotta give Vizio a lot of credit. So this is an absolutely killer setup for the PlayStation 5. I'll have them all linked down below in the description. I'll have this behemoth down there because that's what's in the video, but I'll also include some links to some of the less expensive options that are also really good for the PlayStation 5 because they have some of those new features that this PS5 can take advantage of. But now that we've got the TV down and it has all the features that we take advantage of from the PS5, let's talk about some of those other things that you kinda need for the PlayStation 5 right now. One thing that this PS5 struggles with, Carl, what does it struggle with? Storage. It's a problem, you guys. So what we have over here is the Western Digital Black external hard drive. This sucker is eight terabytes. Now, unfortunately, you can only put PlayStation 4 games on it for right now, but there isn't like a huge library of PlayStation 5 games just yet. And with the PS5 storage being such a precious resource, you don't wanna load it up with PlayStation 4 games. And thankfully, you can load them all onto this guy. You can put as many as you want with eight terabytes. You got a lot of space to work with. And this particular one has some really solid read and write speeds. So playing games off of this hard drive 
has been pretty smooth. Now, not all hard drives work well with the PS5. Sometimes you'll get this pop-up that says the speeds aren't fast enough. I've checked, I've used it, I've got games on there. That one works well, uh, and with eight terabytes, can't complain. One note I will say though, is that that sucker can get kind of loud. The PS5 is already pretty quiet, it's really quiet. But that thing can scream a little bit, so I just wanna warn you guys, that if in case you say, oh, my quiet setup is gone, warning, it can, it can get kind of loud. Now you might notice this colorful thing next to the hard drive. This is actually a USB hub. This is from, and I'm probably butchering the name, but Lato Rice. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody. But either way, this is an awesome USB hub. It's great for computers, uh, but I actually used it with the PS5 over here uh, because I have quite a few different things hooked up to the system. Uh, we've got different gaming headsets. Uh, we even have the PlayStation camera that we're gonna talk about in just a second. Spoiler alert. But this thing has actually been pretty clutch in case you wanna have more accessories attached to your PlayStation 5. Now, the PlayStation 5 only comes with three regular USB ports, and one of them is up front. And if you wanna keep a clean looking console like this, you don't wanna have a cable dangling for like your hard drive or something, it's gonna be good to have a USB hub in the back so that you can plug as many things as you want. This one is actually kinda of cool because you have quite a few, I think you have like 10 different data USBs and you also have some for charging and it even has like some quick charging options as well if your phone or device supports that. Uh, so I actually really like this one. It requires an extra plug in the back uh, so it does need a little extra power to you know power all those USB ports but it is absolutely worth it and it's made of high quality metal. I like this thing. Definitely a must have if you want to have more than you know two accessories attached to your PlayStation 5. And really quickly, let's talk about this guy. This is the media remote for the PlayStation 5. Now, I think this is a pretty good idea to have. If you invest in a pretty decent TV, you're gonna wanna have like a regular remote for people who might not be used to using the PlayStation 5 controller. So if Ari wanted to come and, you know, use the PlayStation 5 to, I don't know, watch, Netflix or Disney Plus or use it for spot, whatever. If she wants to use the PlayStation 5 for media sake or even use it as a Blu-ray player, she can use what looks like a more standard remote control instead of trying to figure out how to do everything with the PlayStation 5 controller. Although I know Ari can figure it out, it's not hard. This is a nice controller to have. It's not very expensive. I think it's worth picking up for sure. Uh, it just makes life a little bit easier if this is gonna be like your media console. But now, I already spoiled it but we gotta have the PlayStation 5 camera. Now, this is their HD camera. I think this is dope in case you wanna stream or something. You kinda have it right here in the middle. Uh, if you're gonna be a streamer, you wanna stream on Twitch, you can of course do that right from your PlayStation 5. I've actually streamed on Twitch before with the PlayStation 4's camera. It actually wasn't that bad. And this one is a nice small option so that it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's way smaller than the one for PlayStation 4. So I think Sony did a pretty good job in terms of giving this a smaller footprint. You can mount it on top of a TV if you want. Not what I would do here because, you know, I'd want you guys at like face level. This would be a little bit too high. Uh, but I do think that this is a must have in case you want to do some streaming. You know, you just invested in your PS5. You want to show off your skills. Get the camera, it's worth it. Now, in case you don't wanna use your sound bar or even your TV speakers, you want a more dedicated gaming headset, you got some options over here. So over here, I of course have the PlayStation headset. This is a Pulse wireless headset that Sony makes. This is a pretty good headset. I think it's really comfortable. I think it matches the aesthetic of the PlayStation 5 perfectly. Obviously, Sony made them together. I personally like this headset. I think the ease of use is awesome. You could just throw in a dongle into the USB port, and then of course, you start gaming immediately. Uh, Carl, you have this headset. What do you think? It gets Carl's seal of approval. Uh, but yeah, all jokes aside, I like this a lot. I think it's really comfortable and it's super lightweight. So if you, know, you wanted to spend like 100 bucks on a headset, uh, this is actually a pretty good option. But, if you wanna invest a little bit more. Now, you guys know me. There are two brands that I really like when it comes to gaming headsets, and I like more, but the ones I tend to gravitate to the most, SteelSeries, 
and Astro. So right here, I've got the Astro A50s. This was for the PlayStation 4, but of course it works with the PlayStation 5 with no problem. You do have to do a quick firmware update, but this is their A50 wireless. And guys, this is like one of my favorite headsets ever. Uh, it's got this nice, easy charging dock over here that you can just drop these into. And if you go ahead and pick up the Xbox version, you can, I know, I've talked about this like a million times, but you can go ahead and drop it into the Xbox one and it'll automatically switch depending on which one it docks into. Really, really convenient stuff. It feels really comfortable. Astro offers multiple ear cushion options, but I love the sound quality that you get out of this. You have the mic that you can throw down. You could throw it up to mute. This is what I use whenever I wanna play Apex and I'm just like zoned in. I wanna hear all the footsteps. This is where it's at. And I think these look clean. I like them. Like they're a bit on the gamer, gamery side, but I love the way these look. I think they're awesome. And what's also nice is when you're not using them, you can just like take them on off your head. You put them down real quick. It'll detect that it's not on your head. And after a while it'll cut off. So that saves you on some battery. Although I gotta say battery life hasn't really been an issue for me. I highly, highly recommend the Astro A50s. It's been serving me really well. Now there are other things like controller skin grips that you can throw onto here or even like the joystick grips uh, that make it really nice to use the controller. You know, if you get sweaty hands, you can keep this in place. You don't have to worry. I actually really like these grips right here for the joysticks. These feel really comfortable. I don't know about the skin. The skin is nice in theory, but I think that the PlayStation 5's controller looks just, it's so beautiful. You don't want to cover it up, right, Carl? Haven't we been debating this for like ever? Yeah, it's, it's hard to cover it up. It's hard to cover it up. Uh, but these options do exist, and I do think they work well, but you just hide that beauty, you know? It's kind of tough. Uh, but I'll have links to everything that I mentioned down below in the description. As more accessories come out from third parties, I'll do more videos, I'll do updated videos on things that I really feel like people should get their hands on. But that wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed... There goes, there. do you hear that hard drive? Yeah, it's kicking up right now. But that's, just, that's, just, that's just about as loud as it gets. Anywho, that wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. If you wanna see the Xbox version of this video, I'll have a link down below in the description. But till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. I like how we just had Sackboy in the background the entire video. We had that cool Ghost of Tsushima up there before, and now we ended off with Sackboy.